Belle. You've fallen in love. You wanted to take her off to a city where nobody knew him and they could start life together. He gave us the whole shicey cock and balls to her. And Lady Jane agreed? She ain't a white slavey, you know. Marianne agreed. She even managed to talk herself into being in love. I mean, Christ. He wasn't bad looking, but he was nothing special. What was his name? Yeah, right. Like he'd use his real one. Can you remember what he looked like? I could try. What about the eyes? Mm. This ain't bad. But his eyebrows were over you. And the hair? Um, he had grey sides and an eye airline. Oh, this cove's perfect. Clever, ain't he? Oh, the chin's too soft. Should be harder. More, uh, square. Yeah, that's him. That's him, all right. What's his name, anyway? Jarius Kip. What in damnation? Jarius Gibb, where is he? Why the hell should I tell you? Because he's a murderer, Mr. Eakins. He shot a constable. He beat in a young woman's skull and he most probably poisoned your stepson. What? Yes, I think you'll also find that he's laced your whiskey with chloral hydrate. A drug which causes the heart's rhythms to break down. Isn't that what you suffer from? Why would he... So that you'll stop looking for young wives to breed real sons who will inherit your money, sir. Christ. No wonder the pin was scared. Where is he, Mr. Eakins? I don't know. Really? Sir? Oh! You helped him that night. What's going on? Helped who? Oh, you imbecile! Jarius, of course! He even looked at me twice! Do you think I would have married a pig like you? Peg Eakins was trying to escape that night, wasn't she, Mrs. Kern? She'd managed to stop Gibb drugging her for almost three days, but she couldn't stay there forever with no water. So she broke a pane of glass, pried open the window. I was reading late in the parlor when I heard it break. I looked outside. I saw Jerry is trying to drag her back. Jerry was trying to give her the medicine. The doctor was coming in the morning. I thought he was helping her, trying to save her from herself. Then she screamed. Oh, my God, did she scream. Constable Wiccan came to investigate. He didn't see it coming. Jarius needed me. We left Peg in a stupor and brought the policeman to the house.
poured whiskey over his body. Do you know where he is now? He said something about visiting the asylum. Lock her up. sleeping all day like this. It demoralizes the other patients. Well, at least she doesn't suffer. And surely it's better to let her sleep than to confine her to a straitjacket. It only seems more humane. Mm -hmm. Discipline is what she needs. Ah, but she will be having her hysterectomy within the week. And she's welcome to sleep all she wants in the infirmary. You say she's sleeping now? I did. <laughs> you know, I seem to have dropped my cigarette case. Uh, the pockets of this jacket are too damn shallow. Shall we go back? Uh, no, 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 you go on ahead. I have a good idea where I dropped it. If you're certain. Stepmother. <clears throat> it's me, Jarius. I've come to visit you. hiding from me. And really, it's most impolite.
Station 4 did Constable Wickham proud. Even the inspector looked handsome in his dress uniform. Oliver died a hero's death. He deserved a hero's funeral. And he certainly got one. Thanks to you. And to you. You know, we work very well together, William. Yes, we do. I think it's because you have the mind of a scientist. It's clear and orderly. You mean predictable? No. Kind, perhaps. Courteous to a fault. But, well, sometimes I, I think... Julia. I... <clears throat> Sir, there's an emergency at the station. We need you. 